Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 4. So in that one we will see the innings 9.3. So first question is if a shopkeeper sells an article for the piece 2640, he incurs a loss of 12%. What should the selling price be in order to gain 12%? So this is the given thing selling price of an article is 2640 and loss is 12%. So we have the formula selling price is because there is a loss of 12%. So that is this formula you have to write. So this is selling price is 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100 into CP. So now we know the selling price is 2640. This is 100. The loss percent is 12. That is divided by 100 and we don't know the CP. So now what will be here? This will be 88. The rest all things are going to be the same. So now this, we can take it on this side. So this will be 100 and this 88 will go on the other side. So that is going to get divided and CP will remain on the right hand side. So this is going to, when you divide 88 by this 2640, you get 30, 30 into 100. That is going to be 3000 rupees. That is the CP. Now in the other thing, what did they say? What should the selling price be in order to gain 12%? So now what will you do? Gain is 12%. So uh, you are going to use the formula here. It was the loss was 12% and the here the gain is here 12%. So it's the same, but only the thing is here will be 100 and here you have to put plus and this will be the gain percentage. Rest everything is going to be the same. So what will you write here? 100 plus this gain percent is 12 divided by 100 and the CP now you got this as 3000. So this will be 112 divided by 100 into 3000. So this 0 and 0 gets cut. So when you multiply this into this, that is going to be 3360. So that is what they have asked. What should be the selling price? So selling price of an article should be 3,360 rupees. Here a shopkeeper blends two types of rice. There are two types of rice. One costing that is 12.50 per, per kilogram. This is means for one kilogram and the other costing is rupees 14 per kilogram. In the ratio that is 4 is to 5. Find his profit percent if he sells the mixture at rupees 16 per kg. So now let us write this one first. Cost of 1 kg for one type of rice. We can make these two types. Let us write one type of rice is that is 1250. So now the ratio is given as 4 is to 5 means this is for this one first type and this is for the second type. So cost of 4 kg that is going to be you will multiply 4 into 1250. So when you multiply this you get rupees 50. Now you will see for the other types. So cost of 1 kg for another type of rice that will that is given as 14 per kg here so rupees 14 so here we have the ratio this is 5 so cost of 5 kg that is going to be you are going to multiply this one 5 into 14 so that is going to be 70 so now you got this as 50 and this is 70 so total cost of two types of rice that is going to be this 50 plus 70 that is rupees 120 now also here we are give, they have given total weight of rice is 4 is to 5 the ratio is given that means it is total 9 kg. So now what will you do for the selling price of 1 kg of rice is it's given here. Find its profit percent if he sells the mixture at 16 per kilogram. So here selling price of this 1 kg of rice is rupees 16. So for this 9 kg it's going to be 9 into 16. So that will be rupees 144. So the profit we have to find first thing, we cannot find out directly the profit percent, but let us find the profit. And you the profit is selling price minus cost price. So selling price is 144 and the cost price you got this year as 120. So the profit is 24. So now the profit percent will be, this is the formula, profit divided by CP into 100. So that is going to be, you got a profit as 24. The CP is you are given as 120 in 200. So this and this gets cancelled out. 12 ones and 12 twos are, so this becomes 20%. So we can write therefore profit percent is 20%.
so here you have to use three formulas this one uh, this this to this you have to use two formulas over here a shopkeeper bought 650 bulbs at rupees 10 each if 50 bulbs were found to be defective or broken find the rate at which he should sell the remaining bulb so as to gain 20% of the whole transaction. So first thing bought means that is the cost price of 650 bulbs. That is one bulb is for rupees 10 each means cost price of one bulb that is 10. So cost price of this 650 bulbs is going to be 10 into 650 that is going to be 6500 rupees. So bulbs broken are 50. So now how many are left from 650 were there from that 50 are broken. So it's going to be 600 bulbs are left. So now required selling price will be what? This formula you have to remember. So that will be cost price but 20% of cost price. So cost price is given now. You got here the 6500 but 20% of this again this one of 6500. So now 20% means 20% means what will you do? 20 divided by 100. So this, this gets cancelled to divide by 10. So that is going to be 0 0.2. So this is 0 0.2. Off means per multiplication. So now see this is a different term and this is the one. So you will write a 6500 and when you multiply this you get 1300. So when you add it will be 7800. So the selling price is 7800. So now you have because the bulbs left are 600 so from selling price of one bulb how to find out from this 7800 you are going to divide this by 600 so this this gets cancelled so this will be 13 so selling price of one bulb that is 13 that is what they have asked find the rate at which he should sell the remaining bulb so as to gain 20 percent of the whole transactions Samir purchased furniture worth Rs. 45,000 and paid Rs. 2,500 as transportation charges. He was transferred to another city within a month of buying the furniture. Therefore, he sold it all, his all to his neighbor for Rs. 50,000. Find his gain percentage. So, purchase means this is the cost price of the furniture that is 45,000. So, cost price of furniture is 45,000. Plus, and he paid 2500 at transportation. So, that 2500 also we have to include in the cost price. So, 45000 plus 2500, and that is going to be 47500. So, now the selling price is what is the selling price? That is 50,000. So, now the gain is going to be gain, or you can also write profit, but here they have used the gain percentage. So, we'll use the word gain. So, gain is selling price minus cost price so 50,000 minus this one 47,500 so that is the gain is 2,500 so now this is the formula for gain percentage is gain divided by CP into 100 so 2,500 divided by this CP into 100 see so this 0 and this 0 gets cut so now what did you get here 2,500 divided by 475 so now now look at here how are we going to do this one 2500 divided by 475. So 475 fives are that is going to be 2375. So the remainder is 125. So now what is that? 5 integers 125 by you will go this way by 475 those five integers 125 by 475 because this is not again divisible so we'll take this in a mixed fraction so now this five will be as it is but now we are going to simplify this one 125 by 475 now because this is a bigger number you know how to simplify this one so uh, you, we can do it directly but those who don't know how to simplify it so we have to take the hcf of it so 125 and 4 125 and 475 you have to take the SCF of it so first thing you have to take the prime factor do this with the prime factorization method so five ones are five twos are five fives are because this is only possible with five and now you will go this also with five five nines are 45 and here will be five fives are 25 again here five ones are 
and this will be 9 and this will be 19. So what are the factors? 5 into 5 into 5 for this one and here will be 5 into 5 into 19. So you will take the common. Common is 25. So for, to find out the SCF, you just take the common one. So 25. So what will you do here? 25 means 25 fives are because this is 5 and 19. So this will be 25 fives are and this will be 25 19 za. That is going to be 400 and so that this will be 5 by 19 percentage. 5 vintages, 5 by 19 percentage. So they have asked for the, what is it, the gain, gain percentage. Now the next one, by selling a car for rupees 1,10,400, Sagar loses 8%. For, for how much should he sell his car so as to gain 8%? So now let us add a given thing, selling price of a car that is given here. The loss is 8%. So we have we know the formula we have done in the previous problems. Now you can see with that uh, selling price is 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100. This is the formula what you have to remember into CP. The SP is given that is 110400 minus this loss percentage 8 divided by this 100 into CP. So this is going to be the same. This will be 92 divided by 100 into CP. So this will get multiplied over here and this will get divided 92. So this is CP. So now what will you do? When you divide this by 92, you get 1200. You can divide and see 92 ones are 92, 1200. So 1200 into 100. So that is going to be 120,000. That is CP. So now we want the how much should uh, he said his car so as to gain 8%. So now gain is given as 8%. So we have to see the selling price. So now what will we have? Selling price is, we, again, this we have done the similar problem. So that is 100 plus gain percentage by 100 into CP. So we don't know the selling price. So 100 and the gain percent is given as 8 divided by 100. And the CP, we got this as 120,000. That you can write it here. So this will be 108 divided by 100 into same so this is going to get cut so when you multiply this into this because this will be 1200 so you get 129600 so he should sell his car for rupees 129600 shankar sold a refrigerator for rupees 13500 and suffered a loss of 10% find his gain percentage if he has sold it for rupees 18,000. Now selling price is given as 13,500 and loss is 10 percent. So again we will use the same formula selling price is 100 minus loss percent divided by 100 into CP and the selling price is given as 13,500. So here loss is 10 divided by 100 into CP. So this will be 90. So now what will you do? This will get cross multiplied here. This will multiply and this will go in the denominator is CP. So this and this gets cancelled. So when you divide this by 9, you get 1500. So 1500 into 10 is going to be 15,000 and that is the CP. Now they are asked, find this gain percentage. So we don't know the gain percentage, but they have given the, if you sold it for 18%. So we can use the same thing. We'll start with the selling price. We have done this in the previous, this the same formula. 100 plus gain percentage divided by 100 into CP. So now in place of this selling price, we know that is 18,100. Gain percentage, we don't know. Let us keep as it is. And this will be 100. And the cost price is given here. We got it as 15,000. So 15,000, let us write it over here. So now this is going to be multiplied by 100. And see, here, this is multiplied 15,000. So this goes on the other side. So this is going to get divided. And this, let us write this both as it is first. So now let us simplify this one. This and this goes. This and this goes up. So 15 ones are and 15, 120 is 1800. So here we got 120 is equal to 100 plus gain percentage. So if we bring this here, that is going to be minus 100 is equal to gain percent. So now this is going to be 20, that is gain percent. So we can say Shankar's gain percentage is 20 percent. So we have completed today's work here. So do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts.
Thank you.